Now let's add the connecting line between section and course that goes through this relationship based on. So I'm just going to start by drawing lines and this will just draw whatever I used last and connect those. Remember with the multiplicities on the entity side and not on the relationship side. And let's see, a section can be related to how many courses. So if we look in the scenario, it says a section has a course. So that means one and only one. Each section has one and only one course. And that makes sense. You wouldn't have a section that wasn't related to a course. Oh, so we have this class and we don't know which course it's related to. That would not happen. So, um, so this would be one and only one or have a section that's related to more than one. So it's specified completely in this scenario that it's related to a course. A section has a course. What about the other way around? It says a section, um, there are several sections of a course. So here we see that it's many, right? Five sections, three sections, four sections. So we know it's a many. And then <clears throat> what about, is it zero or one? So that is not specified. So let's use our understanding of this to decide. So we know that it's many. A section can be related, or a course can be related to how many sections? We know it's many. Is it zero or not? So can we have a course before there's ever a section for that? And that would be the case that a course is newly added to the catalog and there hasn't yet been a section. So it's been approved as a new course and there has not been a section of it yet. So that would be a case when you could have zero. So we'll use the zero to many. On this end, a course can be related to zero or many sections. All right, this multiplicity is completely defined. This one, the many part is defined, but not the zero part. So we'll make an assumption there for that one. And this will be five. A course can be related to zero to many sections. And that's the assumption in our explanation is it is possible to add a course before it, there is a related section offered. Okay, there's our assumption number five, and that goes on this end. So we'll put that five here, and that's our assumption then. So now we have that connecting line between sections and courses, and we've identified the one assumption that was needed to make that connection 